Here's exactly what's going to happen in this next bull run. Now, this is a very important video. I'm going to break down profit taking strategies. I'm going to break down lessons, mistakes, and everything you need to do for you to have a successful bull run. And it's going to be in the most simplest way because you do not, as we get into this presentation, you do not have to time everything perfectly. In fact, you don't need to time anything as near as close to perfection as you think you do to have a successful bull run. Now, what is a successful bull run? That's going to be down to you. I don't know what your goals are in terms of dollar value, but it's going to give you the blueprint where you need to milk this bull run for what it's worth, make a shit ton of money, and hopefully quit that job that you're in or maybe start a business that you're you know, interested in doing. Because I'll tell you something before we break this down. If you try and play this market too cute, you will get wrecked. You do not, and I repeat, you do not need to play this market perfectly to milk this bull run. So I'm going to break it down in a super, super simple way on how I'm going to play this market. But firstly, 2020 and 2021 was my first bull run. If you guys are familiar with me, I didn't get in in 2017. I didn't get in in 2013. I wish I did. But my first exposure to Bitcoin and Ethereum was around about Bitcoin 19 or so grand. I've showed many videos. I bought Bitcoin live on my old e-com channel. At 19k, I bought Ethereum live at $400. Like I made so many good purchases, although I wish I would have bought at COVID prices because I would have bought way more. But it wouldn't have mattered because I would have lost it all anyways. Because in 2021, I made a lot of money. I made F tons of money in 2020. Because you make the money when you buy. That's what's so important. You don't make the money. Um, or sorry, you make the money when you sell. You don't make the money when you buy. Because if you buy, 2020, I made shit tons of money. But I didn't sell. So I didn't make any money. And in fact, I took it to Celsius, which exploded. Fortunately, Celsius paid me out over six figures yesterday. So I've got a lot of cash coming into the market. And I'll show you guys how to deploy that and how I'm going to deploy that in future videos. But I lost it all. I lost all the money. I read up all the beautiful altcoins that we all love to talk about. And I lost it all. And I promise you, it doesn't have to be this way. People really urge, and I've said this before, it really takes one successful bull run or one bull run or two bull runs to make your money because you lose all the money in the first bull run. I'm going to try and make my best effort in this video to stop you guys losing money in the next bull run, if it is your first bull run, because I promise you something, you're going to think you're the smartest man in the world. You might already be up massively on your gains right now in cryptocurrency and you're feeling so, so smart, but we're nowhere near finished, which is good because we can still milk more gains like the coins that you have right now. There's probably 10 X's on them. There's probably 50 X's on some of these gaming coins that you guys hold. But it doesn't matter if you don't sell. So the first lesson I would give you guys is set your profit taking strategies religiously. When we talk in my private community every Friday, we have a call. It seems to be the most question that I'm seeing is people just don't know how to take profits. And it just comes down to knowing what your profits are. If you don't have religious profit taking strategies, and I'll give you mine in a second, you're going to your plan to fail. Because you'll make all the money, but you won't cash out the money, which is so, so important. So here's rule number one. Everything is going to go crazy. In fact, I'll break it down even easier. So let me just pull up some basic charts. I'm just full transparency. I'm shorting some of the market right now. I've got a short on Caspa. I plan to do a, a trading video every Friday showing you how I'm using this GG indicator. I'm not here to sell you it. Bloody, bloody, blah. You can check out if you want it in the private community, but... I am starting to short the market with my trading positions and it's working out fantastically well. Just a real quick short here. Shorting Bitcoin on this red. We're already up making loads of money, but I'm not here to talk about shorting the market. What I'm here to tell about or tell you guys about is how Bitcoin moves and how relevant this is to your altcoins. So like I said, in 2020, we need to go all the way back. Again, it seems like it was just yesterday, but it's just crypto time flies cryptocurrency moves so so fast and that's good so here was the covid crash you guys maybe were aware of this maybe you weren't aware of this i really got involved in cryptocurrency here i was watching alex becker talk about it he was talking about going all in at 3k and i, and I just wa i watched these videos but i never took any action i was so scared i remember saying to my girlfriend i was like okay we're going to buy we're going to buy a lot of cryptocurrency now we've got some good money coming in from the e-com stores and i never took any action because this covid crash and i was like okay it's going to zero because i was listening to what everybody else was saying and that's another lesson you can take from this video man it's just you gotta stop listening to everybody else even in business even in life you know i spoke about this on instagram the other day you can follow me if you want mr j gordon but you know if i listen to the herd and just sticking in your job and progressing up the ranks of being a manager one day 
you know, maybe I might have had a job by now, a better paying job, but you know, that is not where you want to be. Chances are, if you're watching videos like this, you want to be successful and you want to have your own shit going on. So if you're listening to the herd, if you're listening to your parents, or cryptocurrency is dangerous or, you know, starting a business is dangerous. Like, they've never done anything and it's no hate towards them. They're your family. We should love them. I love mine very dearly, but they've never fucking done anything. They've done nothing. Nothing. They've raised us well. They've put a, hopefully a good roof over our head, but they've never made any money. So we don't want to be anything like them. So we have to do the opposite of what these guys are saying to us. And primarily, we just have to ignore them because here was a perfect opportunity to buy. And you know, I remember speaking about it to my mum and dad. I was like, hey, I'm probably going to put a lot of money in currency here. Like, no, son, the market's going. Stay in your house. Wear your mask like a good boy. And I was like, okay, maybe, maybe they're right. Unfortunately, I never got the booster injections like all these fucking clowns. Fuck, YouTube's probably going to demo demonetize. Demonetize? The, the, I don't even know what it's called. No ads in this video. You get what the point is. But here's the thing, man. They were all wrong. They're all wrong. Nobody's wearing a mask anymore. Nobody's doing all this stuff anymore. Just it all disappeared. So it's the same with making money. You have to take advantage of these drops. Now, unfortunately, we've not got these drops anymore, but we've had them. We've had them. In 2022, I was bashing on about filling my bags. Yes, I was still buying them and it kept dipping. I was like, okay, been here before. Family saying, are you still buying cryptocurrency? It would dip again, losing more money. Again, you don't lose until you sell. So I was buying again. We dipped again. I was like, oh my God, how much is this going to dip? But again, all those people that were buying these lows and they didn't have to time it perfectly, they're now up massively. And this is just on Bitcoin. So again, going back to 2020 and 2021, all this was here to come. And we're going to print this the exact same again. And I really think, you know, once we get to around April, May and this having, I really think three to six months after this, we're going. We're going fucking crazy, especially in our altcoins. So that's what I'll tell you guys first. This is quite literally going to be the best time of your life when you're riding some of these coins. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. You're literally going to be printing money out of thin air. So I remember vividly, like I said, in that 2020 run and towards the early start of 2021, like I just checked my, my balances on these exchanges. I had some money on Trust Wallet and I had, a, you know, some money on Trezor. And again, I had someone else as well. And it was working until it wasn't. But I just checked the account every single week and every single day. And I was like, holy fuck, where's this money coming from? And here's the first lesson. You must not get this to your head. This got to my head so much. Because I was looking and I was like, okay, girlfriend, it's like, look how much money we're printing. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And honestly, this is where full focus needs to come. And I just wish I was prepared to do this. And it was to take profits. Number one, take profits. Have a profit taking strategy. Or number two, and I'm going to be doing this as well, is bank the initial investments to profits and then roll over to other plates. So what do I mean by that? Well, my example when Bitcoin was pumping, and I mean pumping, again, some of you guys might not be in Bitcoin, so you can still use this, trust me. But when Bitcoin was up, and I was up massively hundreds of thousands of dollars in this one, the same with Ethereum, what I should have done was I should have looked for other altcoins that hadn't moved. For example, BNB. I don't know if you guys remember this run. So when Bitcoin started to pump, I should have took my initial profits, and then I should have ran coins that were strong, had great use cases, there was a lot of you know, talk about them, CZ Binance, obviously, you know, previous founder, don't know what he's doing now, I think he resigned, I can't remember, and you need to start looking, if you want to play number two, ideally number one, take some profits regardless, you're banking initial profits, your initial investment, but then, if you want to play cryptocurrency for what it really is, you need to start looking at other altcoins that you can roll over to, so if something hasn't moved, you know, for example, let's just pull up a coin real quick, that was around in the last bull run, VET, v chain perfect example hopefully you see when this market started to run and then bitcoin started to go look at all these gains that you could have had because we know bitcoin's such a high market cap it's not going to print that much money so you look for other altcoins you look for smaller caps now again this is still a big cap coin you can get into these obviously gaming coins that we talk about right now so stuff that you believe in stuff that you have conviction in you've done the research there's no rug pulls behind these coins you want to start taking profits initial investments so you don't lose any money. Ideally, take some profits as well on top of that. And then let's roll over. Let's roll over. If you want to play this game, there's going to be many other coins that you can roll over to. And that's how you make a fuck ton of money without a lot of money. Now, here's the simple strategy in a simple way. And I just broke this down, but I'll make it super, super clear for you. If you want to play this game, you can just play number one if you want. You just bank initial profits and you're, you're out the game. You make a 10x on your money and you're fine. But if you want to make the 20x, 30x and keep rolling over, understand you don't have to do everything perfect. So again, Bitcoin will go first. All we've seen this in this recent run. Bitcoin went first. 
Ethereum started to go second, money will flow. Traders take the money to Ethereum and then they take the money to alts. So the higher cap alts, the ones that I just showed you there in the top 100, top 50, they'll go, they're not going to go perfect timing. You guys have to understand that. And then the shit goes. So then this is where it gets fucking crazy and you can play this game if you want and I will be playing this game with a small amount in my portfolio. Then everything goes. Then everything goes. But you need to be out of these coins first. If you're not out of these coins first, you're not going to be able to print this. A lot of people do this back to front. They play the shit first and then they realize, oh, the shit's not moving yet. And then they go to Bitcoin and then they've missed the Bitcoin pump. And then it just, they do it all backwards. And again, just don't, don't blindly listen to me. Have your own strategy. Back test this strategy. And if you don't like this strategy, have your own strategy. But have a strategy. Because me and all of my mates that were in the last bull run that were making all the money, we had no strategy. We didn't take any profits, so we did everything perfect. Uh, we didn't take any profits, so we lost it all. And it's so important that the next four years of your life after this, if we get another bill run, which we probably will, it's not going to be as crazy, there's going to be a lot more regulation. So these bill runs are not going to be as lucrative. You're going to miss out in four years of your life because 2021, 2022, we're now in 2024, time's flying. There's no money. I've not made any money on some of these long-term plays. I've made money on these trades that we're doing right now. I'm starting to realize profits with recent plays, but... I've not made the millions of dollars that I set myself up to make. And that's just because I've got the taking profits and rolling over absolutely wrong. And if you can take a lesson from this video is if you just nail that right with honestly 50, 60% strategy, you're golden. And if you can go higher and do a little bit more research on the coins you like and play it a little bit better, you're going to make millions of dollars with not much money, with not much money. And your goal might not to not be a millionaire. Of course, there's taxis. But if you just set yourself up to make 100, 200, 300, 400, 500K, chances are, you're going to be able to quit your job, start something you want to do, or just do whatever you want. Go to Thailand on Koh Samui and live a cheap lifestyle and just, just be free. Get a couple of Thailand chicks if you want. It's up to you, bro. We all have different goals. Or if you want to be like me and you go for the 5 to 10 million, you build a great business behind that and you, you print, you print and you print and you print and you print. You decide, you decide. Some people don't have that in them though, but just understand that. If you understand this here, you'll make all the money but you have to position yourself like a killer to print. Now, what's exciting when this happens, there's going to be a lot of marketing. And this is when shit is great. This is when everything's crazy. So I'll give you a perfect example. So Kronos, now again, this is not, Kronos is a film. Okay, I didn't know that. Kronos Crypto. So Crypto.com is not a shit platform. I don't mean this is shit. But what I mean is companies like Kronos, if you look at like ads, like these guys, um... Formula One, perfect example. For, you see, see shit, shit like this, Formula One. Like, Crypto.com, ads going everywhere. Maybe you will remember that in the last run, but if you're brand new, you're going to get big crypto companies start doing this, okay? So again, they were also doing UFC, which is obviously a huge sport. A lot of these guys wearing the t-shirts, right? So if you think about the average normie that hasn't got any cryptocurrency or maybe heard about it, and now we start seeing it everywhere, this is when shit's going crazy and you can use this. Like, imagine you watching UFC with millions of people tuning in. I think Conor McGregor is going to be fighting this year or the next year. All these big fighters, it's a massive sport. And you just see Crypto.com. It's got the name in it. It's fantastic. These guys are giving you free money. These guys are paying for this shit for you, the smart people, to make money. Now, these are guys obviously make money because they come to the platform and all the Jeffries lose money with the fees, etc., and they get wrecked, right? So they leverage trade, they do what they want. But for the average person that is just a little bit ahead, we can use this. We can use stuff like this. So this will happen again. And these guys are primed. Whether it is Crypto.com or whoever it is that's going to take the new spot, whoever it is, we milk off this. We bank off this. And then we get the absolute shit. So more... Hex adds taxi. So it's not to shit on Hex, right? I don't like Hex. I don't believe in Hex as an investment. But Hex are the guy behind it, Richard Hart. I think he's actually in some legal trouble right now. You see this stuff? This is in London. This is in London, guys. Look how much money is going into this stuff, right? This guy was running ads in newspapers. I think he was even in newspaper, which I don't know if he reads newspaper anymore. But look at this shit, man. He's printing all this money to get you guys, like, Hex price went up 11,500% in only 29 days. And I think he compares it to Bitcoin. <laughs> so a lot of these normies are going to be like, okay, well, Bitcoin's now $150,000. Hex is zero points. I don't even know what Hex is, but let's just say it's a penny. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm too fucking stubborn to check the price. But even if it's a penny, if it's a dollar, if it's $10, who knows? I don't know what the price is. I don't care. Normies, and this was me as well. They're going to be like, and maybe this is you, but you get out this mentality. Like, okay, well, Hex is only a penny. I can buy so many Hexes compared to 0 0.001 Bitcoin. Let me buy all the Hex. And then Hex, you know how market works? They're so smart. They're so smart. Even though this is a shit project, you can still make money off a shit project. 
and then Dogecoin, and then, you know, Flocky, Inu, Ads, like, this shit, man. Miss Dodge get Flocky, like, all these shit coins on buses and saying, you gotta use this, this is, this is fuel, we need this. This is fantastic, because what this does, this is good news for us. Because our stuff that we're already riding, the solid coins, and maybe we've start, started to rotate in some strong gaming coins, and maybe we're coming down their line of the shit coins, this is going to absolutely bring the massive amounts of volume in these Jeffreys, which are the dumb investors, unfortunately, that will lose money. And you can ride this ship. Like I said, I'll be doing small 0.5% plays on whoever's running ads, wherever the next narrative is, but I've banked a lot of profits by now. I'm riding some other coins, but primarily I'm banking it into cash. I need the cash. And then with small percents, 1%, 2% here, 0.5% here, I'm playing the game because I can lose it, but I can also make a lot of money, but I'm still happy because I've got initial plays that worded well. And you can roll over this and you can ride these narratives. And this is when the final shit, I always use the word hairdressers here, but I just remember in 2020, like my hairdresser was talking about cryptocurrency at the peak of the run. And I was like, bro, probably, probably not a good time to buy. Probably not a good time. And again, he just, he was just looking at all these ads. He was like, oh, it was in the UFC the other day. Should I buy? Well, yeah, bro, if you want, if you want. Gym PTs, the mums, the pops. These guys are getting financially ruined. Unfortunately, mom, if you're watching this video, you're too late. I told you in 2022, peak bear to buy. And you're buying in 2025, young lady. Old lady. Young lady to me. So take advantage of this, man. These guys are doing us a good service. So when these guys start running ads again, like we should be fucking thankful. A lot of people will get pissed off. Oh, they're making crypto bad for the industry. Good. I don't care. We don't care. Let's make money off these guys. This is what the game is. People have to lose. We have to sell to somebody. Understand that this is cryptocurrency. We are a little bit degen if we want. We could have the traditional way of working the nine to five investing in some good stocks to make 8% a year and retire by 65 and maybe be a millionaire. But I promise you by the time I'm 65, a million dollars is probably going to be worth like 10 grand. So I want to be a millionaire before I'm 30 and I'm going to do it in this bull run. And a millionaire at 28, 29 is probably a lot better than a billionaire at 75. So have your goals written down and write these narratives. Okay, and if this shit's pissing you off, good. It's not for you. So Here's a bonus side note. Multiple exchanges will save you. Save you, save you so much if you're cashing out in late 2025. Now, primarily, let's cash out before that. But even solid exchanges will have problems. I remember Binance having problems and Coinbase having problems trying to take profits. Now, Coinbase isn't the best for fees. It's really bad. Like I said, I got paid over six figures the other day to Celsius or from Celsius to Coinbase. And I just, I could have got rid of the money in Kraken, which is good for UK or sent it to other exchanges to cash out and paid less fees. But I just, I was so relieved with this money. I just cashed out over six figures on Coinbase from my bank account. I lost like three grand. I just, boom, three grand gone. Three grand was just gone. And I probably got wrecked with the Bitcoin's price because they paid you in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I pro probably paid, you know, slightly less to sell it and they wrecked me on fees. So I probably lost like five grand overall. But I just didn't care at that point. Yes, a little bit silly. Could have took the time and effort to send it. But I just, I seen the money. I was like, okay, I've been waiting for this for so long finally and i just got rid of it immediately so coinbase is not going to be your best but set up multiple so coinbase kraken's nice crypto.com i believe you can cash out on kucoin you can't cash out on at least for me so make sure you have at least two to three minimum that you can cash out on to your bank account so again kucoin if you're in the uk somebody correct me if i'm wrong but i can't cash out on kucoin so kucoin is great for my spot buys etc like mexc is but you can't cash out on these exchanges so yes they're great have them there but get at least two to three minimum that you can cash out to your bank account on because there's no good sitting there on KuCoin or crypto or MEXC if you can't cash out to your bank account because then you're fucking scared as fuck because prices are high. Yes, you can sell to stable coins, but I don't want to hold stable coins. I don't know what's going to happen to USDT or USDC long term. I don't know. I don't know if they're backed or not. Maybe USDC is a little bit more you know thingy, but we've seen recently, I think it was a year ago or so about, it lost its peg by 10%. I don't need that scarcity or fucking shit coming in my mind when I've done the bull run and I'm five to ten million dollars up and I've I've got five million in USDC and maybe a couple million USDT and then I check and ten percent's gone, five hundred grand's gone because USDC is starting to lose its peg. I don't need that. So make sure you can cash out to your bank account. What I'll tell you to do is if you've got ten, twenty, a hundred dollars or so, sell something right now to your bank account and buy it again. Fine, but does it actually hit your bank account? So I can confirm Kraken and Coinbase do. But Coinbase is terrible, really for fees. I'd, I'd like to know your guys' opinion on that, what you guys are using, but do a test, different for each country. US is obviously different than UK, but make sure you have these apps ready to go. And if you can do all this, that's exactly what's going to happen in this bull run, according to me. doesn't have to be perfect, but take these lessons and you'll absolutely wreck this next bull run. It's so important 
but you're positioned for this. Because I thought I was in 2020. I thought I was so prepared. And then when shit hit the fan, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So hopefully this helped and you got some lessons. Peace.